So a lot of us know, with Android at least, we've always been able to download emulators and ROMs into our phones and play those games, such as classic SNES, NES, Game Boy, and even Game Boy Advance games, and for some ROMs and emulators, you could even play Nintendo 64 and DS games. Well, I'm here to tell you, as of today, it is now officially possible to play classic Nintendo games with emulators and ROMs on your Apple iPhone. Yes, the Apple Store is now allowed to be opened up to different emulators to be put onto the App Store, which is amazing. So now you can download classic emulators via the App Store. But some of you might be confused of how this works, and especially with one console which is going to need some extra steps, so I figured I'd show you how to do this thing and kind of talk about it a little bit more. So let's dive into this thing. So first off, you're going to want to go to the App Store, and you're going to look for an app that's called Delta Game Emulator. Make sure you search the whole thing, Delta Game Emulator, and it's this little purple icon that you want to click on. There you go, you have your emulator. Now, with this emulator, it allows you to play NES, SNES, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo DS games. So yes, downloading this app is essentially like downloading all of these consoles, but we need games to play. Now, because of legal reasons, and I don't even want to get into all that, I can't really tell you where to go get ROMs, but simply just look up the game and then look up the word ROM right after it. It's not that hard at all, and you'll find tons of websites. Just make sure they're legit. Make sure it's the first couple that pop up and that have reputation. Pretty much just search for your game in the word ROM and you'll find a site. Make sure you click the right button in order to get that downloaded. Now on Apple devices, you need a separate app in order to view your files. I just downloaded this simple one called Files because it works easily. After downloading the ROM, you can open it up here in Files. Just click on the zip file for your game and it should open up a corresponding file for Delta where you click that one and it'll take you straight to the app where boom, you can then play the game on your device. And like I said, you have access to pretty much all the classic consoles, including Nintendo 64, which is a little weird and vertical, but you can flip your screen and play it in horizontal, where it will overlay the buttons across the screen, which I found to be a lot easier to play the game. Now, this is all great and dandy, but what if you want to take it a bit further and play Nintendo DS games? Well, it takes an extra couple of steps here. If you download your DS game and try to open it, you'll get hit with an error message, and it will say, Missing Required DS Files. Go to Import files and it should take you to this page where all you have to do is scroll down and you'll see three files that you need bios 7 bios 9 and firmware.bin all we have to do is search ds bios and firmware and you'll find a website towards the top called retro stick once you get the retro stick all you have to do is click the blue button that says download nintendo ds bios and firmware and you'll be good to go with that download go back to your app store and download an unzip app i use the one that has the blue red and green called unzip drip zip rar z7 extract yeah it's it's a huge name but this one worked pretty well for me you'll find your files at the top under nintendo ds bios and firmware click it and then click extract and then open your newly unzipped folder that says nintendo ds bios and firmware and you'll see all the files that you need so for the firmware.bin at the top bios 7 and bios 9 just swipe until you get these options click the light blue share button then click save to files now you can save it on your device that's just what I do every time so I did on my iPad or on my phone and then click save you only need to do this for the bio 7 bios 9 and firmware.bin files don't worry about the other ones at least for the DS now just go back to Delta and go to each missing file folder and just punch in the corresponding file go to bio 7 punch in your bio 7 bios 9 punch in your bios 9 and firmware.bin punch in your firmware.bin file once you've done everything correct, you should get check marks in each section, and then you'll see the home screen for the DS pop up, which you can actually just go in and mess around with the DS home screen. And everything works like the traditional, original Nintendo DS. You can even open up PictoChat, you can type, you can draw, and since I was using my iPad, I pretty much used the pen that came with the iPad and pretty much just typed and chatted and, you know, kind of drew around, and it was actually kind of fun to jump back into a PictoChat chat room again, even though if it wasn't on an original DS. But enough screwing around, if you just click on the game, it will start your DS game and you can play it in different types of settings uh, if you want to play it vertical you can do that uh, but yeah the pen touches work perfectly and like I said on an iPad with the pencil it actually is perfect and it feels like you're actually playing just a giant DS and there you go you can play DS games now on your iPhone or iPad now let me also say this these controls kind of stink because it's just so weird the way the 
this laid out and playing this on just a flat screen as your buttons can be kind of strange. So let me tell you, you can also connect a controller that has Bluetooth support. I connected one of my Xbox Series controllers, which actually worked really well. And all you pretty much have to do is go into your settings, go to Bluetooth and hold the Bluetooth button down on whatever controller you're using and it should connect easily. Then boom, you now have a full blown controller to play with. Now the buttons will be a little strange. I'm sure there's ways to actually change the controls. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, there are settings that you can change in your own like little set folders for each game if you wanna have a certain layout for your controller so you can mess around with that. And there's even settings to change the color of the Game Boy and the skins of your console and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. These games for the most part run near perfectly. I haven't experienced any issues with any of the different consoles that I tried, especially the DS. It still works extremely well as if you're playing it on the hardware it's meant to be on. You really won't notice anything and it feels really smooth and the screen gets a lot bigger since it knows that you're using a controller and it gets rid of all the tacky buttons and the weird controller layout. I was also stupid and filmed this vertical so I'm sorry for the horrible vertical layout that you're seeing right now but yes as you can see it works perfectly fine and there's like zero input lag. It works a little too well. <laughs> I also played around with all the other consoles, including the Game Boy Color, because you know what, I love my Wario Land 3, I had to put that in here, but it plays and runs extremely smooth, and for the Game Boys, there's only an A and a B and then a Control D-pad, so honestly, you don't even need a controller for some of these old consoles, it works perfectly fine just holding your device, like literally Game Boy and Game Boy Advance is just perfect on an iPhone. Once again, if you want to play it on a controller, you can also play these classic games like Game Boy, NES, SNES, all of them with a controller as well. It's safe to say that this is pretty huge. We've always had emulation, but iPhone has always been restricted, and now that it's perfectly legal and fine to have on the App Store, this is going to be a lot of fun for people who couldn't play some of these classic games before. Now the team at Delta did state that they're working on other consoles as well, so I'm wondering if they're going to do other consoles outside of Nintendo, or they're going to even extend it to like GameCube or something along those lines. I, I don't even know if that's even possible on an Apple device right now, but I'm very excited to see the future of emulation and where this goes. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and if this helped you out, yeah, just subscribe. It it's that simple. We're almost at three. 300,000 subscribers so you can make a difference today uh, by just subscribing. But thank you for tuning in and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.